the obstacles emerging on the road to the innovation driven economy. Despite a tremendous progress by the China in the field of science, technologies, and innovation since 2015, its ambition of becoming an innovation driven economy may have reached a crossroads with a more arduous path ahead. The UNESCO Science Report is suggested so on its recent publication has released those obstructions that emerging on those way that leads to those innovation driven economies in the future and UNESCO's major review of science around the world is releasing every five years with the previous edition of 2015 that the five year span since the last UNESCO report the China's manufacturing sector has become technologically sophisticated but it's still dependent on some core foreign technologies like semiconductors and on acquisition of foreign technology companies in research the china has made a major stride in many areas including artificial intelligence robotics blockchain technologies and the face talent shortage it faces those shortage of talent in that and other areas including the brain science a priority area of research that feeds into ai and health monitoring system the race against time for the smarter development that china has benefited from those international research collaboration which is now threatened in particularly which being decoupled from the US as a part of trade tension with that country and it is unimaginable that China could have come so far without opening the country to the foreign technologies, ideas, institutions, new age technologies basically and according to the report the China section those experts, profession of those innovation studies, and well known expert on China science and technology policies are explained these scenarios that China could face and they are adopted so far. The China's current high profile research priorities in AI and brain research, image recognitions, and the space exploration and the quantum computing also. These all these all new age technologies and future science driven technology that may change the world that are the prestigious but may be contributing little to the China's overall development and the welfare. These reports notes and it's point to a global phenomenon that the research productivity is falling sharply everywhere, leading to a diminishing return on the research and development spending. And China is also no exception. It comes under the same category and suggesting that it may take time for the Chinese investment in R&D to translate into productivity gains. In a particular report said that to make those substantial progress in research and innovation in future, China will have to overcome those domestic barriers to those innovations such as inadequate intellectual property protection and excessive state support for those innovative enterprises. If it is to allow those concerns, it is key trading partners and open door policies that serve it so well. And internationally, the Belt and Road Initiative has become a dynamic tool of science diplomacy. But as a China's impact is fail around the world, including in innovations. It also needs to play a more prominent role in global science governance. And it needs to embrace the global trend towards an open access data and the science. That, that's for support those call for global data governance. In order to protect 
the individual's data privacy. The UNESCO report suggests a priority for China that should be tackling those issues of ethical research and openness in the wake of those emerge the baby scandal in 2018 and those privacy issues relating to the data and the AI applications. In as facial recognitions, the China is the world leader as well as addressing those research. And in 2016, the development of science, technology and innovation, a key driver for China's science and technology ambitions got underway that innovation of China's capacity in, in the innovation sector for the China's capacity was found to be wanting. China still possesses those relatively few core technologies, innovative enterprises and entrepreneurship that boost the economic growth for the economic engine, economic growth engine that makes those startups so successful in other parts like US and India. So far, the development between those regions was uneven and the role of scientific research and innovation in supporting and leading those social economic development, that's scope and improvement sector. The quantum communications and the quantum computing, the brain science and the brain inspired intelligence, the deep sea space stations and an integrated space earth information network. The China doubled these double actually basically the gross domestic expenditure on R&D between 2012 and 2019 to more than 2.2 trillion Chinese currency and it is a 2.23% of the GDP of that particular country. The medium and long term plan is a key document by which a China's r and innovation ambition and measured stipulated that by 2020 dependency on foreign technologies was to be reduced to less than 30 percent. According to the Ministry of Science and Technology, the radio ratio actually declined to 31.2 percent by 2060 as domestic investment in r and grew rapidly and spending on foreign technology that imports those features and the share of China's GDP spent on basic research has been around 5% more for the years, many years compared to 13% of the Euro European Union under this Horizon 2020 program. Not only has the proportion of those expenditure that was allocated to applied research has been declining is around 11% in 2018. And the chronic imbalance in favor of experimental development has been largely underestimated in policy circles. The number of university students and researchers, you know, the rise and China booming economy attracting a growing number of returnees who are staffing those universities, research institutes, and enterprises. These agents are changed the enriching China's political, social, economic, and technological scenario. The scientific output, the paper published on these areas at prestigious journals, has increased as much as 49% since 2015. And the country has also emerged as a world leader for the volume of patenting. That's all for now. I hope this information is useful. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video.